Billionaire businessman Patrice Mutsepe has taken BLF leader Andy Lengwitama to court over comments he made last month. The controversial leader accused Mutsepe of instigating regime change in Botswana. Mutsepe referred to the mining magnets as one of those craving Botswana diamonds. He alleged that Mutsepe was receiving assistance from his sister Bridget Hatebe, wife of energy Mr. Jeff Hatebe. The South Gauteng High Court postponed the matter. Mutsepe wants the court to interdict Ngidama from making comments about him, but Ngidama says he stands by his views. Patrice said you want to meet us in court on the 7th, which is today. We are here. Yes, we are. Our lawyers were here. You saw them. When we arrived in court, Patrice's lawyer said they are not ready. They asked for an extension until Thursday, 10 a.m. Patrice said he's bringing this matter to court on agency. It is an urgent matter. It must be heard now. We said, let us meet in court. You see, he thought he's going to intimidate us. He thought when he says he's bringing us to court, we will fold and ask for forgiveness. We are not retracting any statement that we have made. We shall meet Patrice Motipe in court. We are back here Thursday. We are going to defeat him in the same way that we have defeated Afri Forum and we have defeated Freedom Front Plus. So our reporter Abongile Dumako covered the appearance in court. He joins us now. Abongile, let's first start. We saw a very defiant BLF leader, Andile Mwitama. What was the stance of his legal representation? Good, afternoon. Good evening, Tsebi. So certainly Andile Mwitama was adamant saying that he's not backing down. Of course, he was walking alongside with his defense team, whom he said they volunteered to come and offer services in as far as this, is, this case is concerned, saying that He's not going to allow some white monopoly capital aligned people to sort of intimidate him heading up to these elections, saying that the fact that they are in, in and out of courts is a sign that people want to deter them from their campaign. He even went as far as, the, as saying that they are busy concussing and there's people who are trying to deter them from, from doing that. And of course, people are intimidated and afraid by, because of the fact that they know when he gets to parliament, things will change for the better. He's even going to go beyond what the EFF has said in as far as their stance is concerned, saying that, you know what, it's about time that the land returns back to its rightful owners. And if it means they must do it by force, they will do exactly mm. that. He hit out at the legal representation of Patrice Mutsepe and uh, the mining magnate himself, saying that he went to court seeking an urgent interdict, but yet they came up or appeared not ready. Certainly, he says that it's quite a, 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 an embarrassment from their side, he says, because of the fact that uh, Patrice Mutsebe was saying that this is an urgent matter, and the next thing, his lawyers ask for a postponement, which, of course, will, uh, has, has been allowed until Thursday next week, saying that even by Thursday, they'll be up and ready. They won't move back. Uh, Patrice Mutsebe, Mutsebe will find them in numbers in court, actually, to, to actually send that message that says that they're not going to... To not, they're not going to retract the statement or they're not going to stop making these comments that they are making about the fact that uh, Bridget Khadebe, who is the wife of Energy Minister Jeff Khadebe, who is a sister to Patrice Mutsepe, that they want to have interest in the mining sector there by, by Botswana. What is Mutsepe's uh, legal counsel saying about why they want uh, the PLF and Ngidama interdicted? Basically, when we tried to approach them in court to speak to them, they actually were reluctant to speak to us, saying that they are still doing some preparation in as far as paperwork is concerned. But on Thursday, when they come back to court, they'll be in a position to give a complete view of what you know they expect from Tama and beyond the fact that they want him to stop making these comments. And of course, uh, but uh, uh, Andile Mutama has already signaled to us earlier today that he's not going to move back. He's not going to stop what he says because he's, he, knows, he knows for a fact that that's the case. Uh, Patrice Mutep, Mutep, as he owns mines in the country. He wants now to spread uh, this greed of his, so to mm. say, across, across the Sardeg region. He's also saying Atsichigi on another matter, and that is the Equality Court ruling that found him guilty on the land, land or death mm -hmm. remarks. Uh, he's saying they're going on appeal. How far are they in that process? Uh, again, speaking outside the, the South Gauteng High Court here today uh, in, in, in Johannesburg, uh, uh, Andile Mutama going on to say that, you know what, if they want us to apologize for having decided that we want to have this slogan that says land or death, they will only get it as Zulin, which, mean, which means they'll only get the apology or get to see the, the slogan being is, mm. is, is, retracted, retracted from, heaven. from heaven. So basically saying that Lucy Stradom, who actually was represented by the Human Rights Commission, she's just wasting her time. They're not going to 
stop what they believe is theirs, which is land. And they're going to make it a point that land returns back to its rightful owners. He seems to equate everything down to that subject of land, but obviously there's an issue of hate speech here. He's even using the South African Human Rights, uh, Human Rights Commission's ruling on EFF leader Julius Malema to justify, to argue his case. What is the basis of that? Basically, there's more or less no basis if you look at the fact that, you know, the Equality Court yesterday has come to this conclusion to say that, you know what, Andile Muntama and your part, retract these, uh, you know, comments, retract this slogan. Don't wear these T-shirts in public that have this land or death slogan. Uh, basically saying that, as far as I understand, the court is just wasting their time if they think that he's going to back down, if they think that he's going to refrain and, and say, oh, I apologize. He says that he's going on, he's moving, for, he's moving forward with his, what he believes. Uh, believes the South, South Africans need, saying that even the people who always come to support him go to show that they believe in what he thinks it will sort of advance, you know, the interest mm. of the majority of the country, which he refers to and, as black people. And ultimately that comes down to the kind of support, the amount of support that he wants to draw at the polls tomorrow. Mm. Did he give any insight into how he thinks they'll perform as the BLF? Confident Andile Mutama saying that watch, wait, why, watch the, the, the elections, the IEC center, the rock center, the board there. BLF will emerge victoriously. He says that people believe in him. People believe in me because they know that when I get to parliament, I will cause more disruptions all in the, in the name of trying to make it a point that South Africans who would have voted me in, into parliament and even into power, if it goes to that point, don't regret their decision because I represent these people who I'm standing with here by this court who have been with me through and through. As much as we're supposed to be busy campaigning, but they think that or they felt that it's actually fit that they must come and support me. And I want to disappoint them come after the 8th of May. And that's what he was saying, Andile Mutama, the BLF leader earlier on.